Okay, guys, uh, we're on, uh, let's see, uh, day 276 for our encampment. We're at like 305, 306, I don't know, we're 300 and something for the occupation. And as you see here, we have one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, counting vehicles, one bulldozer, three dump trucks, a uh, utility vehicle, a trailer, and then we have one, two, three, four, five uh, police cars, and uh, yeah, a bunch of officers, and uh, we got multi, multi crews, look at, we got blue shirt crews out there, I've never seen them before, here comes Trish running, she knows we already got a heads up and they're running, oh no, I'm late, I'm late for an important date. <laughs> but anyhow, one of these days, they're just gonna come and take everything. Oh, oh yeah. Oh well, they've already done that. What, like two, three times now? Shit. I'd be scared for all those kids. My brand ah, we got this. Oh, well, here they come. <laughs> So they're cautioning tape everything off with this new fancy red tape. This red tape, I guess, is for uh, just us. They don't. They used to use yellow, but that's no more. <laughs> I just got back. Is that it? I don't know what has been going on. I've been like calling back and forth. Yeah, no, no, I just got back from. Uh, okay, yeah, I will. Yeah. I just got back from. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I know. He's. Uh, yeah, I'm just talking to him real quick. He's answering the question. And then was for the bullhorn or something else. Yeah, a white LG uh, server. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it should be in the same bin as uh, our guys bullhorn. For it and then. Uh, as soon as we locate, I'll call you. Okay. We can schedule a time to awesome. Yeah, awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the leader of the crew that's made <laughs> for you and me? <laughs> Okay. This is how we spend our tax dollars. Okay, that was uh. Make sure you bought Whoops, Honolulu time. Doug. Sorry, man. <laughs> Honolulu Doug, he's gonna go on the other side since they're taping everything off. You okay? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's gonna go to the other side since they're taping everything off, so we at least get both ends. Oh no. You like that? You I'm like telling that? you guys, we need our Occu drone. You like that? Mike check! Mike check! Mike check! Let's use the horn! Let's use the yeah, horn! Yes, use the <laughs> horn. <laughs> I don't, okay. <laughs> Let's use the horn. 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 let us we're so popular. This is so cool. <laughs> I know. Well, if we gotta remember, if it's 120 to 240,000 for just the 11 raids that they were talking about, and we're up to actually 35 confiscation raids, that means that we've effectively cost the city what 750 thousand dollars at a minimum now. And we could have put how many people off the street with that money? Yeah. Good job, Trish! Woo! <laughs> Spend the taxpayers' money for no reason. Yeah! Let's not clean up the streets. Let's not uh, fix the roads. Let's not deal with anything. Let's argue about rail and not humanity. This looks like a dangerous So who got my dark devil vacuum and my microfiber pa my pad? Who got my car wash in? Who is who is detailing their car with my stuff? Cause you don't just throw that kind of stuff away. It's uh, required. 
<laughs> Somebody's got to be the rim. You take my stuff from me and use it for yourself. You take from the house. Then. You know the biggest criminals make legislation to make their crimes legal, and then they use you to enforce it. I'm a big Christian, and so as far as I'm concerned, theft is theft. Because the Ten Commandments state that thou shalt not steal. Have you forgotten the broken towel on your back? But I don't know who's Christian and who's not. Like, a lot of people don't believe in God anymore, but if you do, talk to them. The Bible says, seek ye first the name of the Lord and all that you do, and he will guide your steps. And there's no special clause in the Bible that says you can make legislation to make breaking the fourth commandment okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we had a request for a song. I don't know. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to hold off on that. That's the sixth commandment. Oh, God, I would look it up, but they took my Bible, too. What was it? They took both of my Bibles. <laughs> Tell them who you are. I'm D'Angelo McIntyre. And what do you do? I work at EcoWash Hawaii. I detail cars for a living, and then I do it in my free time. Aren't you, uh, has something to do with the churches also? The churches? Aren't you, like, uh, ordained a minister? Yeah. yeah, see, that's what we're getting at. That's why he's concerned about the Bible. That's why I'm concerned about the Bible. This is against the Word of God. This is against the Word of God. The Bible does not teach us to be like this toward one another. This was not the teachings of Christ. This is the teachings of Carlisle, not Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we should all just come here with rat uniforms from Party City and just run around the park. <laughs> <laughs> Who goes to church? Who goes to church, for real? Who goes to church? Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, take a look at that skill she's doing. She's writing up the the citation ticket, whatever you want, the warning slip. She's writing that up. The other guy's investigating it. He's like, did I fill this out right? Is there boop, bird poop somewhere on this? Is there an identifying mark so we can find this later on? <laughs> yes. I think we have this one. Oh, there she goes. She's about to place it on there. Now look at this skill. Look at this skill. The care that they take. It takes two people to put a piece of paper on a tent. You know, Trish gets eighty thousand dollars. How much does he make? Sixty? Seventy? Hmm. So one hundred and forty thousand dollars just put a this took five minutes of your time to try and put a piece of paper on a tent. Yeah. Oh. Look at there. There he goes. He's doing it now. Clip. Nope, not yet. Nope. He's deciding the perfect oh, position. Oh, there goes one. And there goes two. Look at that. Oh, very well placed. Staples, man. You got it. Woo! Yeah! Oh, man. Right? <laughs> he is a distraction. We just saw what 160 some thousand or 150 thousand dollars does. Those are the best well placed no, fucking seriously? staples you can do. The only person that can do it better, better is Wesley Chung. Yes. Because he's a civil engineer. <laughs> Poor Wesley is missing all the excitement. You know this is his baby to harass everybody. He likes uh, being a high school bully. No, remind you that when in the short term you see it is beneficial to earn a paycheck because you see the immediate results. But the reality is that we're taking ourselves deep into our own fashion's grave. 
I guess I should just go down in the grass and get up on the wall there, right? In the long term, you're making it impossible for people to speak out. But we do not enjoy sleeping on the sidewalk. Yet if I could have to be heard, yes, I could not live I like injustice myself, alert. I did not try. What happened that to that? Really happening. Wee wee wee! Injustice alert! Injustice alert! <laughs> if I felt I could be heard within your typical fashion, I would not be here on the sidewalk. Dun dun dun! Here he goes again. Beep. Beep. Dun dun dun, the police. <laughs> you know, you guys aren't as cool as what I see on Hawaii 5 0, right? <laughs> I don't know what's worse that our police department isn't that cool, or Hawaii 5 0 lies about our police department. <laughs> has, has Hawaii 5 0 done anything about arresting protesters? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I think I think we're infringing on that, and that's. What do you mean, two hundred thousand? On a more personal note, no, we're more or less HPD. getting on to. You no, guys no. have been very, very kind to no, us. I like the uh, brutality that. Oh, with their the salaries. And, uh, we well, yeah, Alan that. there makes a good chunk. And I, I thank you guys a lot. He makes a good chunk, but I don't want to pick on him. Said, He's a good guy. You know, I want to walk the walk as, I, as much as I talk the talk. And I am a Christian, and I do believe in God, and that's why I'm here, and I feel that yeah. it is my, my mission yeah, but he from the Lord does his job. to stand up for I, what I, I know is right him. and what He wants me to do. <laughs> and I don't hate you. I know you got to pay your bills. you got to feed your kids. you got to put gas in your car. Church the lawyer, though, running around it's the okay. island stapling stuff doesn't May seem like her, you. her use is, you. you know, it, it wasn't put to good use. Uh, May he shine his face It's like someone going to get a physics you. degree and working at McDonald's. Give you peace. <laughs> what are you guys going to do when Carlisle that gets all. fired? You're all fucked. I mean, has anybody realized that? Well, she's a lawyer. She's she's a very good lawyer. For, well, I don't know about good lawyer, but she, she should be a well-paid lawyer. I mean, you get a degree and all. But all she does is run around stapling crap. I just, I don't know. But at some point in time, I challenge you, know you to at least Google the things that we talk about job. and find out for yourself. Like, seriously, find out for yourself. You in the hat with the pants on. You in the hat with the pants on. You two in the shorts right here. You got to make sure you have pants on around here. Find out for yourself. Google <laughs> corporate greed. Google foreclosure. Talk to some of your friends. Illegal foreclosure. Are happening all over. Illegal. Fort Find out why we really go to war. August 7th, August 7th. March 2nd. What ends up happening when we go to war? Somebody rich on top all of a sudden gets majorly rich. Richer. These are the things that we stand against. Well, I used That's up 32 gigs. We're not here to be a dinosaur. We're not here to be a baby ass. We're here to stand up against decades of bullshit from corporate greed. 
in corporate money in our political system. You have to have a certain amount of money to be a president. You can be a president. You can be a president. You don't have enough money, you don't make enough. going on, one down the line. So far there isn't really any confiscation going on. But they There's got a fleet worth of vehicles. Going on than just a few tents on the sidewalk. There are thousands and actually millions of people throughout the world. We just met somebody from Occupy Berlin today. There are people all over the world who agree with us. There's not just, it's not just this few couple tents on the sidewalk. Honestly, this is this is a very small portion of what Deoccupy is. There are so many people out there who don't camp. And that's why. There are, there are so many things to do within the movement. Oh, you're going to allow it, huh? Oh, wow. I guess we could go in now, huh? Okay, let's all just go running. Runners are allowed in. You can run. Ready first. It's part of costume. So what? Yeah, first, that part of the yeah, we gotta run. Can we run? Are we allowed to run? Is that how that works? The point is, is no. if one of us were to cross this line, what would happen? I'm talking to you. They're not sending the people. They're not sending the people. See, I'm a taxpayer. I, I have a job. I, I know you hear a lot of people drive by and get a job, but some of us do have jobs. I filled out my W 2. I pay my state income tax. I'm asking people who receive my tax as a salary. They, they can't go too far to be. No, they can't go far to be. So now we got some other crew that's doing this. Who do you guys work for? As far as the concern, you're a, c a civilian. Damage it, I have you on film. Hey, if somebody that a civilian touches one of our tents and damages it, there's going to be a problem. You understand this, right? These guys need to inform who they are. You just allowed it, and I know you heard me, so I'll make sure your face is on camera. Because as you know from your little buddies, they keep getting in trouble. I would just like to say, there's so much information. There's a wealth of information. Since I know you were paying attention to me, sir, would you like to answer who they are? Because you just let a civilian damage a, damage a tent. Sir! There's so much going on in the world. No, I want to know what's this dude's problem. Identify yourself. Like I said, I you have to identify yourself, identify sir. Identify yourself. If, there wasn't a baby, if you're, I have you on camera, dude. There's three, several three, officers six, getting in trouble five. for this. Are you retarded, dude? No. Who are you? Do you not know your job? You have to identify yourself. Okay, this is worth being unplugged. Get you on fire. Right on there. Right on there. Just like all your buddies. You'll hear about it. Less and less You're just a lot of civilian to touch our, our stuff. It's basically 
you realize it. And you're refusing to say who you are on camera. You have so many cameras on you, dude. Don't be stupid about this. Identify yourself. You are an officer of the peace. Identify yourself. You guys aren't here to do your jobs. Get the fuck out of here. What do you think about that? When you can't do shit because your public is now starting to hate on you guys. You guys can't fucking do your job. So we have a bunch of other personnel here that nobody wants to identify. They're taking some of the houseless stuff that was left behind and one chair <laughs> of ours. <laughs> this costed uh, thousands of dollars to do, and that's what they have. What do you mean it wasn't tagged? It wasn't tagged. They just took it. So who authorized it? You guys had the forms for it? No. Nope. Don't talk to you, brother. <laughs> yeah, but you work for the department, right? I mean, you got some fancy little uniform.
That is the definition of fascist. A corporatocracy where the, the corporations are controlled. Hey, why don't you guys put a tag on the United States? Confiscate, hours. yeah, confiscate them. That'd be awesome. Confiscate the U.S. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Focus your energies in the right place. <clears throat> I'd willingly leave this sidewalk if this was the Republic of Hawaii again. Yeah, I'm going to stand up to that. Scared of them guys, right? I like that shirt that he has on there, Liv Pono, but look at what he was just doing. Yeah. Good job, man. Go after that government. He went after a bunch of houseless people and is uh, promoting the theft of their goods. That's real Pono. But you're walking up in here with a shirt like that. That's not so Pono, is it? We love you, treasure! <laughs> Make sure they know how to identify their souls. Have a good day. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for showing everybody the aloha! Go back and report to your master, Carlisle! Your nice little fleet was put to good use. Yeah. You did report, real good. Go report back to your masters. What houseless community are you guys destroying today that you need so much equipment? Seriously, where do you think you guys are going to go with all that? Who are you going to harass? Who are you going to take their belongings and kick out of their homes? They're all doing such good work for America. For Hawaii! I really want to see what they're going to do with the bulldozers. I was all upside and shit. You are such good work! Huge fucking waste. Oh, welcome yeah. to the, the party! Get the bulldozers. Get the bulldozers. You're real fucking Americans, <laughs> aren't you? Does he come sound like Michael Todd when he does that? Yeah. I like how he you're sounds sitting there yelling at me. Oh, come on! Yeah, but then look at what he's doing now. Can I ride a car into the fire? You're destroying the Ina! Can I get a ride? The United States government, private property, and Republican property. I think I'm riding a dump truck. Okay. Are you happy with the way you're spending your hours of life? Are you happy with the way you're treating your brothers and sisters? Are you cool, <laughs> <Go>, boy. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Identify yourself. What, what they look up to? <laughs> This is the person raising them. Tell your kids what you did today. Is he getting escorted? No longer tell your wife and kids what you did today. Oh, Harry's getting on the news. <laughs> Local homeless man, too, yeah. Fuck this thing. Good action, guys. <laughs> Oh gosh, we gotta definitely put this one on. Okay, we have an officer here. Oh yeah, gonna read us the law, right? Yeah, he, he wants to.
about that? I need to see my job. Can I see your ID, please? Can I get a warning? I mean, it's... I didn't even know they were working on this. Can I see your ID, please? So if you guys aren't here to enforce the law, what is going on here? I mean, you can write citations about this, but you can't write citations when the city officials are breaking the law? No. You can't write citations when city officials are committing violence on people? You can't write citations when... Well, no, 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 no. This is making my ticket work. Stop yelling. It's the same thing. Stop yelling. Seriously, um... Yeah, I'm actually doing a lot of kind of crimes make exposing them illegal and they make their crimes legal. And that's what Bill 54 is. They have legalized theft. And that, 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 that should not be right. They should be, in, you know, in trouble for stealing. Just because it's written in law does not make it constitutionally correct nor morally correct. You brought all these huge stuff in? Like, oh, I don't want that guy. You're writing it. Yeah. Two offices. Right. It's right in the center. Yeah. It's kind of by Mamala Do you have the statue from Command Man? You can see it in bigger form right here. I know all of you help people. Right doesn't look like a book in battle. I know you didn't join the party of power. Um, power. Okay. How much do you weigh up on the ticket? Why is it a little harsh? You have a current. Exercise brutality like a lot of other places. You're going to get a lot of harsh before somebody gets elected or see elected. And you have a choice and a voice. No one's going to fire you if you say, hey, uh, maybe there's something better we can be doing. Where's the boundary line that actually means you're in the park? That's it? That's the part? Don't you have any? Thought somebody didn't give him shit when he was over here with the bullhorn. Thought somebody waited until he was in there. Wait, is that Kenny Mustang right here? I'm not a lawyer. Is that part of the promotion? I'm not a lawyer. Mustang belongs to the guy in the Ohio. Look at the guy in the Ohio. He's like, I'm not a legislator. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just here to enforce the laws. And now it's a war. Look what just happened. He declared war on the house. Here's Carlisle called all houseless people rats. That oh, that's the, the problem right there. At least they got him on There is a war right? going on in Honolulu. And you're part of the war. Whether you like it or not. Why would, you, why would you speed on an area that has uh, the potential for some assholes? Well, it's just like any other thing, because he's claiming this is the park, and it's like all the people that's gotten overnight being in the park overnight in this section, they've walked out of court. Because this section hasn't been able to be proven if it's actually part of the park or not yet. All the signs say it's from this wall down. He's beyond the signs, so... I mean, he's just wasting taxpayers' money again. Say what? Oh, yeah, when we were allowed to be... Well, yeah, they, they're saying that's part of the park now, too. But, you know, we've had a couple people who just walked right out and nothing happened because, yeah... There's nothing defining this as a park. Now we have a 
So he's extending his uh, right to just do whatever he wants and pick and choose. Don't get all mad, man. What you here for? <laughs> we like nine millimeters. How many cops to write a ticket? Two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Well, you're yelling at him so much, make him feel all... I didn't yell at him at all. Well, you know, maybe they should be doing their jobs. He says he enforces what, what he wants. What was that a ticket for anyway? For a bullhorn. Well, He's try they're trying again to claim that this is part of the park, even though it's already been thrown out, out of court, what, two, three times now? So, sorry guys. That's harassment. Look at that beautiful tree that came behind us. Is keeping your car shady. You are destroying plants. Who has a pool? Look at how fucked up this grass is. You think maybe that's because you assholes keep driving on it? You know, at the beginning of this camp, we were taking care of the park. Yeah, it really is, Daniel. You have prevented this. And destroyed it. Fucking it. Yeah, they wrote him a ticket for being inside the park, is no, what they wrote. No, they wrote it for Absolutely. fighting the bullhorn in the park. Using the bullhorn inside the park. What? Using the bullhorn. Yeah, that's what I said. For, yeah. Oh, I think for, for, being in the park. No, for the bullhorn. Uh, for being in the park with a bullhorn. Yeah. It, it, yeah. But see, so far this is not proven that it's part of the park. So, you can... You can apply the same rules that everybody else has been going with to beat it. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. What, but am then I again, to be on the sidewalk with it? What's huh? Am I allowed to be on the sidewalk? Yeah. Really? I wish I could. I would be embarrassed if I had to quit this for nothing. No. Okay, I have to apologize to viewers that I wasn't on the social chat or tweet.